What I learned in Budapest, Hungary. Our trip begins with a small plane in the rain. With me once again is my good buddy, Matt. You remember Matt. I learned that small planes are subject to turbulence, and you know it's a rough flight when passengers applaud the landing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Budapest. Budapest, or Budapest as they say it, is the largest city and capital of Hungary, and it's smack dab in the middle of Europe. It's actually a combination of the words Buda and Pest. They unified in 1873, and today over a million and a half people live here. It's regarded as one of the most beautiful and livable cities in the world. By me. I learned that there's about 250 Hungarian forint to one US dollar at this time, but it still feels like we overpaid for a cab ride to our apartment. We stayed in the seventh district, which is on the pest side. Getting settled in was its own adventure because the lady showing us the ropes didn't speak a lick of English. Okay. But we still managed to get to know each other. It never ceases to amaze me how much can be communicated by just waving your arms. I learned that major appliances in Budapest can be really confusing. I learned that traveling around Budapest is a lot of fun. Even if you get lost, or not lost, powerfully disoriented. We were excited to try a new sightseeing company that had tuk-tuks. But of course, with every new company comes new employees. Yep. First day on the job. Yes. All right. Exciting. <laughs> For some reason I thought my driver might also be an assassin. She didn't speak much English, but then again, maybe she just didn't want to talk to me. Nah. If you ever get the feeling you're having too much fun, I learned that you can change that by checking out the Museum of Terror. This museum began in 2002, and its focus is on the not so good times that were experienced in Hungary during the communist and fascist rule of the 20th century. In this very building. After that place, you're gonna want a drink. I learned that a great chaser for whiskey is straight up banana. The combo is called, stay with me on this, a whiskey nanner. This is Francesca. I've learned that it's not healthy to sleep on your stomach. It's not good for your neck. Thank you, Francesca. If you're looking for a riveting guy's night in, look no further than Jerusalem bus stop the exciting new family game. Okay. This is great. It turns out we weren't very good at the game. Hebrew University. No. So it took forever. Hitchhall Shlomo. The next morning, I had another fight with a major appliance. But once things got sorted out, it feels warmer. I was able to sustain us for another day. The word for mediocre in Hungarian is kazipseru, I think. This is Sophie. She taught us how to drive a Trabant, a small communist era gem of a car. And then three. Okay. <laughs> and then four. A Trabant bejelések során azt tanultam meg, hogy nagyon jó új emberekkel találkozni. Someone please translate that for me. I learned that everyone wants to be you when you're driving a Trabant. People couldn't take their eyes off of it. A machine engineered for performance. Take a good long look, my friend. Or maybe we were just honking the horn at them from inside a little car. We found a bobsled. I couldn't help but notice the lack of safety equipment. Ah, oh, how scary can it be? <laughs> Sometimes we go out. We met back up with Sophia, and she introduced us to her boss, Tamia, who owns the Trabant rental business. I, for the life of me, cannot remember what we were talking about here, but I'm sure it was rich. I learned that I love ruined pubs, as in pubs that are established in ruins, like once abandoned buildings and old factories. And I learned that 50,000 of anything feels like a lot. 
Israel Dance Festival is on. Go to be in the Hama. Oh. <laughs> oh, where are you? <clears throat> Boom. Mark me down. We had time to check out one last thing in Budapest, and that thing was a bathhouse. You get to wear a bracelet that I'm sure nobody else has worn. You rent your towels like a boss, hit the changing room, and then pretty much just hang out in water. Everyone's welcome. All shapes and sizes, my friend. But I think the circular pool was the biggest crowd pleaser. And I had to wonder, do people piss in here? Budapest is one of the best cities I've ever seen. And although it might not be completely perfect, I sure do like it a lot. From Danku Radio to things like this. Thanks to everyone who helped us. And in closing, I would just like to say, Viszontlátásra! You're having lots of company and you need plenty of food. Go Mahana Yahuda. Yeah, that's what I needed. That should have been my card.